Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. Now I know it's been quite a while since my last video. I lost internet connection for two months and then a whole bunch of live stuff happened. To Jake, if you're watching this, I apologize. I know we had plans for the AMD and NVIDIA combined videos, but I didn't even have the means to let you know that I couldn't do them. So enough about that, let's get on to the video. Shadow of Mordor has been released for Linux by Feral. So we're going to be running a comparison here on Windows 10 Pro 64-bit against Ubuntu 15.04 64-bit, both the latest stable versions of their operating systems. On the Ubuntu side, we are running the 3.5.2.30 drivers, and on the Windows side, we are running the 3.5.3.62 drivers, the absolute latest. This is a frame-for-frame -frame comparison, since there is a benchmark mode in the game. So let's go ahead and see what the results are. So right off the bat, we're going to be starting with 1280 by 720p, just not to push it too far off the bat. At lowest settings, we are seeing an average difference of 74 frames per second with Windows leading. So with everything practically off and at the lowest possible, it does look like Windows takes a big lead here with DirectX over OpenGL. But when we change things to ultra settings at 720p, suddenly the difference isn't that great anymore, with the average frames per second difference only being 26 0.72. So that's a pretty big difference there when everything's cranked up, OpenGL and DirectX seem to be head to head, well almost at least. So what happens when we go to 1920 by 1080p? So right back to lowest settings, we are seeing a 44 frames per second difference with Windows leading. Not as big as the 720p resolution difference just now, but still practically uh, quite large. So what happens when we jump it up to the max ultra settings, everything 1080p, we are seeing only a 17 frames per second difference. Give or take a couple of frames depending on how many times you do this test. So I got 17 frames per second difference at ultra settings. So let's go ahead and see the benchmark running side by side. So on the left will be Ubuntu and on the right will be Windows. Alright, both the latest. So this will give you an idea of the graphical fidelity, but my camera is not that good a quality. Right off the bat, you are seeing quite a difference in frames per second here, but both are relatively low since my card is old. So on the Ubuntu side, we are 20-something, dropping a bit. On the Windows side, 40-something. Now both are going up by about 10 frames. In a moment, you are going to see quite a big dip in a moment on the Ubuntu side, right there, 19 frames per second, and I think that has to do with tessellation loading. Because as far as I can tell, when I do the lower tests, that doesn't happen. It only happens on Ultra. Pretty interesting results overall. All right, so that is it for the results. As you can see, the Windows side does have quite a lead overall, but it's not that bad. The performance that Inferal has brought to us is pretty good, all things considering, especially when we look at the actual functionality that we get in the game. When you compare it to the Windows side and the Linux side, the only difference that I can see is related to the order independent transparency, which I can't actually see a graphical difference when I'm playing the game. So on the Windows side, it's available, and while on Linux, it's not available. It doesn't really make a big deal. I kept it off anyway for this set, this comparison. <laughs> The performance, I would put it as playable, but if we're going to be benchmarking it frame for frame, then it's definitely not yet beating Windows. I'd love it too. I hope they will push for that performance increase into the future. That said, if you're running on middle-end hardware or even low-end hardware from a couple years back, you will suffer quite a bit with this frame loss. But if you're running on a higher-end card from a couple years back like I am, you should be fine. If you're running on a new-gen card, you should be totally okay. AMD and Intel users, you guys are left out this time around. Feral has said that they're only supporting NVIDIA. And to be honest, rightfully so, AMD and Intel aren't exactly pushing the boundaries of what their drivers can do yet. So hopefully AMD and Intel will pucker up and then bring that support for us. Because I also have those cards as well. I'd like to play them. Uh, I'd like to use them. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope this video was educational or useful to you in some way or another. I apologize if there's any mistakes that I've made. Please let me know how I can improve on the comments down below and hopefully there will be a video coming out again sometime soon. Alright guys!